military law is to law as military music is to music. Does that give you an idea what military law is about? <laughs> It's the same when I went to uh, when I went to Papua New Guinea and worked for the Catholic Church in Papua New Guinea at Idapi. People said, "Why would a lawyer be doing this?" And I said, "Because I can." So I thought, "I don't want to be a lawyer anymore. I've done that. Uh, I just want to. Uh, I just want to uh, do something different." And so I. I'd enjoyed the work I'd done with the people with disabilities in PNG. Oh, here's a lady buying the big issue off Tao. How Look much at are they? How much are they? Yes, and this is Tao, he's, uh, he, he doesn't speak, but I suppose I'm his mouthpiece. And I just say to this man here, I was a lawyer, so I suppose I'm his legal mouthpiece. <laughs> Yeah, it was a great, it was a great job. Uh, I got to do prosecutions and uh, defence work as at courts martial. Getting jobs going overseas. I, I went and lived in America. I worked for the United States Air Force as Judge Advocate General Department for two and a half years. Met some really great lawyers there. And people asked uh, me, why can lawyers do this? And I say, because they can. Both of us, the best thing about 2017 was uh, Tao getting a $300 tip off Grace. And, uh, you know, for him to, uh, to get that, that supports his. Look at that. Yeah, see, he's got a big smile. What a great face. smile, Tao! Yeah. His cousin's Carmichael Hunt. Wow, what a great player! Yeah. And Tao's, um, yeah, working with Tao, I suppose, is one of the one of the best things. The other thing that I do is, on occasions, I look after the big issue. What was the worst thing about 2017? I don't know. Finding out I had a 70% heart, I suppose, is not a real good thing to find out. But it's not going to let. No, I'm not going to let it worry me. Death doesn't worry me. I'm not. I'm not frightened about that. I. But I've got to tell you, that's certainly for me and it's certainly for everybody else that's walking around here because at some stage it's going to happen to all of us. And, um, and I suppose um, the gnosis of it all is that I believe that my soul will continue. One of the things that I do now that I've retired is look after Tao, which is, from my point of view, a spiritual thing to do. Some of the things that people do that are, are spiritual is like working with Tao and adding into the community and doing things for the community. Now he's got a loud bloody bike, hasn't he? The thing that, and I've always believed that there has to be something happen to your body afterwards. Well, when I was going to high school, the, uh, the science teacher told us that uh, electrical function doesn't die, it just changes in its energy process. Well, the body runs off, off uh, electricity and, and the nervous system is an electrical charge through the body. So what happens to that when we die? And I've got a feeling that that's got something to do with the soul. Because a friend of mine came back and said, I saw you on TV in America talking away there. And I suppose you think that I'm talking a lot today, but that's what lawyers do.